What it do, Ski? It's your boy, Phil34, and today I'm here with my reaction video to Community. This one is Season 2, Episode 17. How's it going, everyone? Um, I thought last episode was just dope. Uh, on all fronts, I really enjoyed it. Uh, maybe now Pierce is going to be coming back to uh, being less of a headass uh, and less of a burden on the group. We'll see how things are gonna go. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, then definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget guys, in case you're interested in getting the full and it raw reaction and more, then definitely check out patreon.com slash fail34 in the description down below. With that being said, let's get into it, y'all. Meet. Well, I don't want to be that guy, but I guess we should start studying anthropology. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, chapter four. Hello! Oh, thank you! Yes! <laughs> anyway, his tour has taken him in this neck of the woods, and at 5 p.m. today, he is stopping by Greendale! Ooh. Eat that city college and wash it down with a nice tall glass of suck it. <laughs> the vice president is coming. Mm -hmm. That explains the people I've noticed covertly surveilling the campus this week. Must be Secret Service. Oh, Abed. Will your reality ever come out on Blu ray so we can enjoy it? We've been made. Only problem. <laughs> I was Mr. actually wondering who was the guy who watched with the here. dean. So, we have seven hours to elect a student president. Hmm. Ah, what am I gonna wear? I mean, I could borrow my sister's Uncle Sam outfit. It's tailored for ladies, but what else can I do on such short notice? Well, you could not dress up like Uncle Sam. Yeah. Or admit you don't have a sister. We're electing a student president. I wanna run. I have so many ideas for improving the school. Improving Greendale takes more than ideas, Annie. It takes time, gasoline, matches. Mm, nice. Well, newsflash, Jeff, some of us care about more than just fixing our hair and sculpting our abs. Wow, you got me pegged. Democracy, what a ruse. There's no such thing as a system in which the masses hold any action. Everyone wants you to shut up. And yet I won't. Case in point. <laughs> oh, pretty <British> moments. <laughs> All right, tell everybody your name. Garrett? Okay, Garrett. And why do you want to be president? I wanted ice cream, so I got in line. Okay, okay. He wanted ice cream. So what do we say, gang? Does he make it to the next round? By applause. Oh, we got our first nominee. All right, the bar has been set. Face it, Annie. Politics are all about ego, popularity, and parlor tricks. Don't kid a lawyer. Well, if I see one, I won't. Oh, that's crazy. Who are you, sweetie? Uh, Vicky. Who's, Who's up, up for some, some Vicky, Vicky, huh? Abed Nadir. I'm Special Agent Robin Bowlers, a Special Agent Keeneland of the United States Secret Service. We submit to a search of your person and belongings. Sure. Oh, no. If I may ask, how did you notice the campus was being observed? I guess I noticed because I'm used to being the only observer. Well, we're not used to being noticed. That sounds a little sad. Well, another one makes the cut. Congratulations, Leonard. <laughs> yes, wonderful. <laughs> Next up, Annie Edison. You gotta love Leonard. My name is Annie Edison, and if elected, I promise to make Greendale the signature community college of the entire western three quarters of the Greendale area. Oh, oh looks like you're in the running, Annie. I'm oh, sorry, I got the heat. I gotta go. Pump it up. <laughs> I believe that humankind need not be governed. Fucking Britta. <laughs> I don't care. I believe this campus is a good place filled with good people who just need someone to protect their interests. Jeff Winger! Oh, you pissed him off, Andy. My name is Jeff. I'm no politician. But I'm just Jeff. a fella. I think that beer should be cold and boots should be dusty. I think 9-11 was bad. And freedom? Well, I think that's just a little bit better. You know, I thought they were going to do something similar where it might be Shirley and Annie pitted against each other again, like the, um, the security episode, but they're doing it with Jeff and Nanny. That uh, sexual dungeon was still there. So, you know, that, uh, that may resurface. There are eight candidates in the lead. Annie Edison. Smart, attractive, but easily Ethnicity fat. Ethnicity, Did he change his last name? Yeah, he's Not trying to quote Hispanic. the Hispanic vote. You know, I hear they're getting ready to start, so we'll turn it over to coverage of the debates. Who's there? 
Special Agent Voller's United States Secret Service. Do you just constantly have your own little side adventures? Yep. Me too. <laughs> it's almost as if politics were a huge joke. <gasps> okay, look, I'm sorry I asked you to hang my flyers, but I suggest you drop out right now, because not only will I beat you, I will make you cry. Mm. I vote magnitude. Vicky, look at me. Psst. I'm going to crush you. Pierce, stop that. I'm going to eat your brains, Vicky. I'm going to slurp them right out of that melon you call a head. A reminder to all candidates, your microphones are currently on. They better be, because I'm on fire up here. You freak people out, you know that? You look weird. Because of your overbite. Oh, okay. Let's just get started. If I'm elected, the black mold will be removed from the east stairwell. The assailant, known only as the ass crack bandit, will be brought to justice. And I will balance the school's budget by eliminating administrative redundancies. Okay. okay. I'm in the room. Thank you, Miss Edison. Mr. Winger. Well, that's an important question. And it's important to students like Jeremy, who told me today that he's majoring in astronomy and is supporting two children. It's an important question to Maria, who's a beautiful Latina, born in Nicaragua, working in the cafeteria. Yeah. What will I do, Dean? Well, these people don't want me to say what I'll do. They want me to do what I'll say. Uh. They love when you shuffle the boards around. Magnitude? Pop, pop! Oh, my God! <laughs> He's an emo in the Discord question. now. Mind if I ask you a few questions, Mr. Nadir? Okay. Was there a specific reason you had to repeat the first grade? Well, from what I'm told, I didn't know how to use scissors. I sat in the middle of the seesaw, and I always found the distinction between duck and goose to be very arbitrary. Couldn't you just pick the sixth kid every time? That's what I would have done. I went with four. Jeez, get a room, you two. Pierce Hawthorne, your platform? My platform will be one high enough to push Vicky off to her death. What's uh, wrong with Pierce? Jesus. Vicky? It looks like Vicky's out of the race. Oh, well, then I am too. I was only here to get back at her for not lending me a pencil. Uh, okay. Wow. Uh, well. Can we get back on track? He had his motivations. Are you saying Greendale is dirty? Oh. Boo. Of course it's dirty. Everyone knows that. I don't, Annie. I think it's clean. I think it's the cleanest school in the entire country. Yeah. You know it. Looks like Jeff Winger's really got this thing in the bag. Sure does, Troy. Say what you will about this or that, but people just like the guy. We have to clean the mold. That's right, people. No, no matter, matter what you're told, told, we, we have, have to clean the mold. Come on. Yeah, no matter what. This is interesting. Told. Annie Edison has reduced her platform to one issue and turned that issue into a soundbite. And it rhymes. People love it. And we're out. Right Can I get an apple juice, please? Freshly squeezed this time, or so help me God, Maurice. Yeah, yeah. I bet those guys in the suits are thrashing your dorm room real bad, bro. What are you doing? Random spot check, Mr. Nadir. Stay out of our way. Surprise love interest? Anything suspicious? Because you think I'm suspicious? Or because you wish I was suspicious so that you'd have an excuse to see more of me. This was a random spot check. Do you like me? That's not really relevant. That's close enough. Are you sure? You smell like nice soap. I have to go. I'm sorry you weren't a more obvious potential threat to the country. Let us resume. Star Burns. We haven't heard from you on this black mold issue. I actually withdraw my candidacy. I fear a political career will shine a negative light on my drug dealing. Thank you. Dean, before this election stops, what's your presentation, Annie? My presentation is a copy of Jeff Winger's 1997 audition tape for MTV's The Real World. What? what? That's so Let's just roll it. accurate. Thanks. You totally do that. <gasps> hey, I'm, I'm Jeff, Jeff Winger. Winger. And I'd love to be on MTV's Real World Seattle. So check this out. Oh, well, I guess it would be nice if I could be on MTV so we can take a look at me for the real world. Shut up! I was like 19. We've all been 19, Jeff. And none of us did this. None of us.
I hate you. I hate this school. And I hope you all get black mold poisoning. Oh, Jeffrey, no. I hate you. No, Jeffrey, no. You don't got Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey. Not cool. I'm sorry. I didn't know it would be that bad. You knew. You didn't care. But don't apologize. I got what I deserved. I am a gross, jaded adult with control issues that couldn't let a young, bright, idealistic kid run for president. Troy, I'm out. Me too. I withdrew my candidacy. Nobody that treats a friend the way that I did is fit to represent the student body. Uh, yeah, I know you're both out. I'm saying you're missing it. It's the political showdown of the century. Pop, pop. Leonard versus Ben. Pop, pop. I was just another jerk trying to win a contest. You were right the whole time. I just couldn't admit it until I saw you running away crying. Yay. I care what you think about me, you know? Yeah, well, I care what you think about me. That's why this happened. Okay, well, resolved then. Resolved. When we seek to destroy others, we often hurt ourselves. Because it is the self that wants to be destroyed. Pierce, you're not usually so poignant. Well, Vicky finally lent me her pencil. Oh my God, Pierce, go to the health center. Yeah. Well, we finally reached the end of Election Road. Two men fighting for the same piece of earth. One recently born, one soon to die. A competition reflecting the pointlessness Alex. of life. Pull up, Abed. You're in a nosedive. Offensive to animals? I'm being told now that Dean Pelton is prepared to announce a winner. We take you now live to Across the Room. With 11 votes cast. 11. Come on, people. The landslide winner of the student election with seven votes is... South Park. Okay, you know what? I seem to recall this is why we abolished student government in the first place. This is exactly what happened 10 years ago. Hey, how hard is it to get rid of black mold? What do we need, buckets and sponges? I don't actually know. I'll look it up. Oh. lady. Well, there you have it. In a shocking like write-in upset, the Comedy Central cartoon series South Park has been elected president of the Greendale student body. Not that shocking to me. I voted for it. For real? Mm -hmm. Me too. Oh, we can never stop being friends. As the confetti gets swept away and we begin gearing up for next year's election, for GCTV, I'm Abed Nadir saying, did you know you can make napalm out of common dish soap and cat food? What? Why would you say that? Damn. It's ballers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. We're going to have to move on to City College. Apparently there's an elevated threat level at Greendale. Don't worry. I'll check it out. Uh, Personally. Whatever. This was fun. Maybe you can observe me having dinner next time you're in town. Hung twice for yes, once for no. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And that was Community Season 2, Episode 17. That was our reaction video. Uh, we had a, we finally hit our political episode this time, and um, yeah, a pretty good episode. Uh, it felt a little bit off at points. Um, I don't know if it was like the editing or just the tone off of the usual for Greendale. Um, maybe it was the pacing, might have been, because there's, they're fitting in quite a lot of things here uh, for the editing. Uh, I think one of the highlights to me actually was the... I think I might have enjoyed the subplots more than the actual main episode of this episode. I think I enjoyed the gags of the main plot, like having Magnitude and Leonard and stuff like that, but I don't think I really cared for the Annie and Jeff you know, I feel like we've done that enough and it wasn't as potent of an idea uh, for it to come across uh, as effective as it has as previously, in my opinion. I mean, but the things that came out of that were probably the best part for me. Uh, I loved the, the whole white uh, secret service and Abed threat turned love, uh, in, uh, threat turned into a forbidden love or whatever, you know, uh, that was a pretty fun idea and they played it off really well. That was probably the most natural way for Abed to have a, some sort of fling. In, in community thus far, so I was with that. The political commentary from Troy and Abed, Troy in the morning, sort of special, was pretty funny. Also great to see Magnitude come back to the fold. And yeah, what surely was sort of sidelined this episode, uh, Britta had the one sort of just, most Britta, most Britta-y line, you know?
being self-righteous and all that shit. But uh, yeah, uh, I felt like, yeah, Shirley didn't have very much to do. Pierce had a bit, but I just felt like he was just there to talk shit. Yeah, I thought this was a pretty all right episode for me personally uh, with some good laughs spread throughout it, guys. But what do you think about this one? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, if you enjoyed this one, then definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget, guys, in case you're interested in getting the full under raw reaction and more, then definitely check out patreon.com slash 34 in the description down below. With that being said, I'll see you all next time, guys. Peace.